What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Throttle YouTube channel. My name is Quinn and I'm here with Mickey and behind us we have our 2020 Civic Type R sweepstakes car. But before we get into today's video, I want to let you guys know that Black Friday deals are live. Wheels, tires, coilovers, exhaust systems, headlights, you name it, even our merchandise is going to be on sale during this Black Friday sale. And every dollar you spend, it's going to be an entry to win this beautiful black Civic Type R that we're about to start modding. The best part about it is our Black Friday deals are live right now through the end of the month. We're not just gonna be doing the Black Friday through Cyber Monday deal. It is literally all month long on everything. All right, enough about the sale. Let's look at all these awesome parts we have back here behind us because this car is gonna be pretty epic when it's all said and done. So starting up front, one theme you're gonna find with this build is that they put a lot of fake carbon fiber on it. We wanna get rid of that. We don't like fake stuff around here. So what we did was we actually went to the Sabon catalog on throttle.com and picked out pretty much a whole car worth of real carbon fiber that we're gonna throw at this thing. So we've got a front grille, we've got a front lip, we've got a side skirt set, we've got a rear lip set, we've got a rear wing, and we've got even the carbon fiber hood that's gonna go on here and change the look of the front of this car. We are gonna be painting some of the carbon. We don't want it all to be exposed because it's probably a little bit too much. But the really cool thing is that it's gonna remove all of that faux carbon on the car and replace it with real stuff, which is much better looking and arguably more effective. When I first saw the car, the fake stuff kind of convinced me that it was <laughs> real, but it's having Look a at fake it carbon next to each other, yeah. next to a real carbon lift, there's, there's quite a difference there. So yeah. we also have a full grill replacement, which is gonna be really cool. I think it's a very nice and piece. One thing I noticed about that, these cars uh, we know have inherent temperature issues, especially at track days and, and lapping sessions. So what's cool is this one, the, the, if you notice, Quinn, the grill is taller. Yep. So we're gonna a lot more airflow there. And they also added a grill up top, which isn't present at all on the factory grill. So a lot more airflow is gonna be going through. And we've got some other bits that are gonna go behind that grill and keep this thing cool. Keeping in tune with the front end of the car, we have a set of Morimoto lights that are gonna be replacing the factory ones. I know Morimoto always likes to put some special touches in their lighting setup. So I'm really curious to see what that looks like. I can see we already have something. Well, it's all there. LED and yeah. it's all blacked out too. If you notice, this light is very bright with chrome. And on a black car, I think the black internal housing is gonna look really sharp. And it also has uh, five individual LED pods in there versus the, the little segmented ones in the stock light. So I think this is gonna be a much cooler look um, and it's gonna provide a better lighting experience for the car in general. Really gonna clean up the front end while still keeping it look like a Type R, which is really cool. So we have an Optima yellow top battery here. We're gonna be replacing with the factory battery that's in this. We don't know where this car is actually gonna end up because it, again, it is a sweepstakes car. So the yellow top Optima battery has a better cold start and cold cranking performance than the factory battery does. We're gonna to toss one of those in there. Moving on to suspension, you guys know we love our KW and our ST products around here. We've got the KW V3s that we've been using on a lot of the projects recently. We've got dual compression and rebound damping, and we've got the Inox coating on the bodies. Everything is very well treated for any element, basically. So this car could go live in a, in a winter climate. They're not gonna deteriorate as like a cheaper product would. So as always, we love their little tool kit that they send along. This thing has all the documentation uh, for the coils in here. It's also got some stickers that just fell out and uh, your adjustment tool, locking tool, as well as the spanners to make adjustments on the coilovers. We look forward to experiencing these on the road. I think paired with the wheel and tire package that we've got for this thing, this is the perfect setup and it's really gonna handle like a champ. So one of the things we're gonna be updating is the interior. It has a really nice interior actually, but there are a few things that we think we can definitely add with some of this stuff. So we reached out to Revel and they sent us a bunch of parts, <laughs> interior parts. Some of these look really nice and actually fitment is gonna be really good. Well, we haven't tried fitting these parts, but we did slip that in. Yeah. And this was one of the things that I was really anticipating. It's such a simple piece, but the fact that it's Alcantara wrapped, has a nice red stitch, which matches the interior very, really well. But the part you don't see to me is the most exciting. And that's the dry carbon yep. component that is actually wrapped with the Alcantara. So you never see this. They could have made that out of plastic, but they yeah. didn't. Yep. Um, they are real artisans with the dry carbon, as you can see. These are overlay pieces. These are just gonna go over top of our existing panels inside the car. But man, they weigh nothing. It's literally an applique. 
and uh, it definitely looks sharp. What I love is how sleek this is. Like you put it on the dash and you hardly even notice it's there. So like a lot of overlays, you put them on top and you can tell that it's an overlay just because it's a lot thicker and it mm -hmm. looks funky, but this looks like it literally belongs there. So now, due to the construction cool of dry carbon, you're able to do that because it is such a thin and strong material. It's really cool. I can't wait to put this in. The other thing I noticed, uh, Quinn, I know I pointed this out to you when I sat it up on the dash was the dash goes from like kind of almost cheap feeling to really bougie feeling once you put this one piece in. So imagine it with all the carbon fiber yeah. surrounding it. Can't wait for it's it. It's going to be really good. So we've got pieces for the center console for the door cards. We yep. have a piece for the gauge cluster as well. So we're kind of decking vent. out the entire, yep, we got some vent stuff there. So we're really cleaning up the entire interior with this, which is going to be really cool. Weighs nothing. It's literally nothing. So, as I mentioned previously, we know this thing has inherent temperature issues, so we wanted to address that. So we reached out to Mishimoto. They partner with us on a lot of our builds, and they basically sent us their catalog of products for this car. This was definitely a deep dive car for them. Like I think when this car came out, they were really hitting their stride in the marketplace, and they really threw all of their engineering at this particular platform. We've got a secondary heat exchanger that's gonna go in there, which is really gonna help keep track temps down if this car ever does get tracked. Um, we've got a full radiator, a shroud, we've got an overflow tank, we've got their sandwich plate adapter for an oil cooler, and we also have their Mongo Thing front mount intercooler. <laughs> massive. I also see a titanium turbo blanket, oh, which yeah. is really cool. So I do see we also have some intake stuff. So we've got a charge pipe here, as well as a cold air intake from Mishimoto as well, which is really cool. Oh. So yeah, and the air box. The air box is well. sitting over there. That piece looks really nice. Moving on to the side of the car from the engine bay, we have more of that Sabon carbon that I alluded to previously. And so, as you can see here, we have a full carbon side skirt. Um, we have some full carbon inlet vents for the fender. You guys know the front fenders on these CTRs are really aggressive. They have this really cool vent uh, that is plastic on the original fender. And this is gonna tie in our carbon from the front to the sides as well as our side skirts. And it's really gonna really brighten up the car. I think that cheap look of the fake carbon is gonna be gone, which I'm excited about. So having Sabon on board for this one is really exciting for me. And also on the Sabon tip, we've got their carbon fiber hood as well. It gets rid of the center vent that the factory hood had, but it adds extractor vents on both sides of the engine, which is really cool. And I think a really modern, aggressive look for the car. We also have some uh, wing, these are replacement parts for the rear hatch. Yeah, they're little like winglet extensions. They're full part replacements, which is really cool. Uh, and they go kind of up there on the roof. I don't know if you can kind of see it visually, but very nice pieces and uh, gonna really tie all the carbon together from the top to the yeah, bottom. Yeah, we got some back carbon here. So this is the rear fascia as well. So kind of tying into the wrapping the whole car and carbon's gonna be really nice. Oh yeah. yeah so this that. surrounds our, th our Try exhaust tips, which we'll get to next, but we just leave this full carbon. I think it looks beautiful. Yeah, I love it. Against the gloss black paint. Speaking of the exhaust, Quinn, we've got our MBRP exhaust over here. So this is gonna be a cap back system. It does come with the massive center tip. Holy crap. In dry carbon. And we've got the two, um, there's one more of these that's gonna go on the other side as well. So three total exhaust tips, just like the factory setup. And it is going to increase the horsepower and torque a little bit. It's gonna give it a little bit more grunt. It's all stainless steel, so it's gonna last the test of time. Cool, I can't wait to put it together. We've had a couple of MBRP exhausts here before that we've put on and all of them have been really good fitment wise and just really happy with the product results. So really good with the sound. I see we have like a resonator tube over here. It'll be really interesting to see how this thing sounds. I know that you don't really hear too much exhaust note from the Civic Type R when you're really driving yeah. it. It's mostly induction noise. Yep. So open up the engine a little bit, get some sound out the back, should be really nice. Yeah, really it's welcome. definitely a welcome piece for sure. We want this thing to handle well. We reached out to Cusco and we actually purchased all of their braces for this car. So um, it's a really cool package of stuff. So we've got a front bar, a rear bar, and we've got a bunch of stuff that goes underneath the car, like this X brace for underneath the chassis that goes uh, between the tunnel and uh, below the transmission. We also have front and rear sway bars. We're gonna pair with end links as well. So this thing really should be a Canyon Carver or a pretty good track day car if you really wanted to take it there. Should sharpen up really nice. I remember when we did our Evo 10, we did a lot of Cusco bracing, chassis bracing, diff bracing, like everything they had, and it really sharpened up the car <laughs> quite a bit. So. It's amazing what a difference that stuff can make. I Absolutely. Mean, it seems like kind of like, mods yeah i don't need that but then when you do it it's like oh wow this is a big difference 
So to assist in that handling performance, let's move on to wheels and tires because it looks like we got some pretty cool stuff here. Quinn, I don't know about you, but these 19 inch wheels on this Civic Type R are a little excessive for me. You want to go down a size? How about an 18 inch TSW Camora wheel? That's what's up. Very lightweight, very nice looking piece. Kind of a JGTC looking wheel a little bit. Yeah. I think it looks really nice. I love the color. Yeah, it's nice going to complement the black nice. It's yep. not your typical satin silver or gunmetal. It's just like a really cool charcoal color, and I like it a lot. And we're going to pair these 18 by 9.5 TSW Camoras to our usual suspects. These are the RT660s from Falcon Tire. Again, super grippy. That's why we love them so much around here. They are fantastic in dry weather. They're great in wet weather as well, and they're not noisy. They're fantastic on the street and we'd love to use them. So again, we're gonna to toss a set of those on this car. That'll allow us to realize this KW suspension upgrades, the Cusco brace upgrades, um, all the things we're doing to really tighten this car up. This is really what's gonna make that shine. So I'm excited to get all of this on. I think what we have sitting here is a really great package for this car. It's gonna change it aesthetically. It's gonna change it dynamically and it's gonna make it a really, really fun car to drive now. Yeah, I can't wait. This car is already very intuitive. It's already very sharp. So well, I'm interested to see how all of the mods are gonna to come together and really, I, I, I don't know if it can get much better than it already is from a family <laughs> perspective. So I was gonna say, we, it's curious. we took I'm a curious. quick little road trip in this car recently and uh, one thing we noticed was when you get on it, you don't really get the torque steer that you would get normally from a traditional front wheel drive car of previous eras, they really sorted that out. So I'm, I'm interested to look inside under the engine bay and see how the steering rack is configured and how they battle that to make yeah. it so that you don't feel that big wheel twitch when you get yep. on the gas, because you don't feel that at all in this car. It'll be a fun build. This car is also very bitey on the turn end. It's yep. very responsive, yep. which is. is really cool. And we're only increasing that. Yep. So. And lastly, to round out the back of our CTR, we also hit up Sabon for this beautiful blade for our stock CTR wing. So this actually replaces the painted black center section. And I think it's a good upgrade to really keep the carbon fiber theme going and tie it all together. What's nice about this wing is that when you buy it from Sabon, it actually comes with the same end caps as our CTR comes with. So if you have an SI or another variation of this platform, you can actually buy the traditional CTR wing and apply it to your car. Now, since we already have the end plates, we don't need them. We just need the blade. One thing we should mention, Quinn, we took this thing on a little bit of a road trip up to see the boys at Top Rank. Yep. And uh, it's about a 45 minute drive each way, which was I think just enough to really get acquainted with this car. What I wanna say is they really nailed the seats and the ergonomics of the car. That's one thing that we didn't get any replacement parts for because we're happy with it the way it is. Those yep. seats, I don't know who makes those, if they're Recaro's or what, but they are very comfortable. They use the right materials, they're flashy, just enough flashy to really make the car feel special. The steering wheel is also the same. So it's a full Alcantara wheel, um, has red and black tied in with it, and it just feels right in your hands. So why mess with perfection? I think it's great, I think we'll leave it alone, and uh, the next owner can decide if they wanna make changes to it. That's the explanation for the interior, and we'll show you guys once we put the carbon in, I think you'll agree with us. So that's gonna be it for the parts for our CTR. We have a full build series coming for you guys. We have several videos on this thing <laughs> as we start to trinkle all of these parts onto the car. Don't forget our Black Friday deals are live right now. So head over to the site, pick up some merch, pick up some parts. If you guys want a mountain of parts for your own car, every dollar you spend at Throttle.com is gonna get you one entry to win our black Civic Type R behind us plus $20,000 in cash. So get those entries in guys. Don't miss a beat, hit that subscribe button. Leave us some comments down below. Let us know what you think of the new CTR and we'll see you guys in the next one.